hello and welcome back for well i guess not welcome back it's just a welcome for for session two with the the ultra violence uh when we last left off they were handling an explosive situation in a very diplomatic fashion that one is not exactly uh sure who they're gonna end up paying out more to it is a late at night on a i, th I think we just left off on like a saturday night or something like that I don't really remember. Sure. Why that not? already sounds right. It's, it's not important. But uh, you guys were sitting outside the back of a GMC Bulldog that the guy popped up a tent and a pair of gurneys. And there was a pig that you guys had acquired and a little impromptu surgery for your, your good friend that just got out of prison. And he is... Uh, Dr. Giggles is turns. He was like, so now that little issue of payment, mm -hmm. you folks are, to my knowledge, pretty good at uh, acquiring things without paying for them. Yeah. Excellent. By the end of next week, I believe it's on. Uh, I believe it's on Thursday. There is a shipment coming out of the Tacoma docks headed towards downtown it is a shipment of medical supplies that i would much rather not have to pay retail for and i feel like you guys might just have the the good nature in your heart to want to do me this favor am i right i mean <clears throat> that sounds not so bad no and not however, so bad at all. Like, uh, there's a slight snack, and I just I just reach out my hand with the mate shackles on them and shake them a bit. Oh, yes, sorry, one, one moment, and he'll reach into his pocket and pull out uh, a pair of cuffs that look very similar to the ones you are wearing, and I'll put them on your gurney next to you and take those off of you and put them on the pig. It's like, those ones don't work, they just look like they work. So if you, you should probably... Uh. That'll make this a whole lot easier. Yep. I just... I feel like my character would just go straight into an asshole at this moment. <laughs> just pass out on the chair. Sure. You're more than welcome to, to lay down on the, the gurney and go astral. Get that slipping loose of that meat sack and the dirty colors of the world into the nice vibrant astral in six years yeah it's freedom man do you want to do anything while you're there or you just want to float around just float for a moment sure so uh your your friend seems to have stepped out for the moment but that's fine i can understand that you guys are uh able to do this i I imagine, yes? I'm I'm a bit hesitant to say yes 100% right now, but, I mean, it sounds like something we could do. Wonderful. Now I'm going to begin to pack some things up here. Uh, you're going to want to take, take your pig home, make sure nothing bad happens to it. And uh, Yeah, we got to name this pig. You do have to name I this pig. I already named it Bomb. <laughs> the pig is now named Bomb. Yes. <laughs> I'm for it. it. It'll be the most metal pig in the entire uh, <laughs> section of the Barrens. No, I just give it a mohawk or something. Yeah, yeah, well, it's got to get a mohawk, a couple of ear piercings, um, <laughs> maybe some tattoos with gang colors on it of "Don't touch, might explode." Definitely got to have a nose ring as well. Yeah, of course. Full titleless bomb the pig. <laughs> Get a, a big picture of just like an explosion tattooed onto the side of it with a, with a bomb <laughs> on there. Uh, so you guys think that she's gonna come back anytime soon, or just stop poking her? That doesn't. doesn't do that, that won't bring her back. I mean, he don't know that. I, I know he's telling you. Look, we shouldn't hang around here. Just pick her up and let's go. He uh, says to Archon he's the only one tall enough to carry a person and not drag their face on the ground. <laughs> I mean, you could drag a back of the ground. 
you could set it up like a, a person hammock between the two of you, just kind of like <laughs> one of you gets the shoulder, one of you get the knees, and hope it works out. Uh, Interchange goes over to the pig. He's like, come on. And just grabs him with his strong arm like on the collar, I assume, that he's got. Sure, we can say that it's got a collar for identification and RFID tag purposes and such. But yeah, no, the the pig will be a bit groggy because it was anesthetized and uh, it'll take a little a little bit of a shake to get it to to come, as it were. Mm-hmm. How uh, big is this pig? Um, That's a good question. Let me Google how big adult pigs are. Cool. Quite Very large, big. actually. Oh, They're yeah. big. Yeah. Adult pig. Oh my! Yeah, <laughs> they're about human sized. Mm-hmm. Not bigger. Bigger. Like that thing ain't fitting in my car. I don't think. Not unless you know someone's lying on top of it. All right, so there's the the random picture that I googled. Um, oh my god. With with a person <laughs> for scale, I was unable to find one with a banana for scale, but hey. <laughs> That's actually a small pig. Just uh angles and whatnot but yeah i found yeah, that's a like picture. a that's like a large pot belly pig mm. oh, i can find you a bigger like, pig. Pig no no is... no no that's it's a good fine. size that's fine we're happy yeah, with this that pig. <laughs> farm pig oh my yeah that's more what i was thinking <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not fitting in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but that would be quite an impressive pig yeah. for you guys to to have to handle. We could I have a feeling it. that's as large as my car. Vehicle. Yeah, that, that one is probably more that like you're gonna be bacon one day. <laughs> <laughs> delicious, delicious bacon. Right. So, pig is named Bum. Poor piggy getting a a bad name. Mm. It's a great name. It's an appropriate great name. name. It's a uh, lewd for its nature. So you guys have a week to What'd grab... What'd you say? You guys have about a week to grab the shipment of medical supplies from Tacoma Docks heading to downtown. Sorry, I'm just making a little bit of notes here. Me too. Oh, good. Oh, on the board. I see. That's much... Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that is much more uh, convenient, considering Indeed. all of the notes from last week are on a different page on the on the same game table. Hmm. So, um, Acid, do you come back to your, bo- your, your poor meat sack, or do you let them just carry you back to the... Uh, wherever it is they're going? If they just want to dump me in the car, I am okay with it. I mean, sure. look at auras and shit. I mean, yeah. she's literally getting myself. dumped in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where she is. I need to reacquaint myself with the asshole and just fly a bit. Oh my god, I can't transform into Chrono. That's next on the list. <laughs> so, where are you guys going then? Uh, let's go back home and figure out a plan. Um, I assume that he gives us more details than you gave us about this. Um, not a whole lot more details. What What would you be looking to... Uh... Like, where, anything... Because th- there's a lot of shipments that come out of the docks, right? So Yeah, okay, I so this is a... Us... a uh, this is specifically a dock wagon. Okay. Resupply. Um... So it is a, uh, not an 18-wheeler, but, like, uh, the one step down from that, like a UPS truck size mm-hmm. that he is looking to grab. Um, I should actually make this into two two separate note thingies. Uh, boxcar, UPS sized. Um, he didn't give many more details than that. Like he's not 100 percent sure on the day that it's leaving. Um, he's pretty sure it's Thursday. I believe I said. I don't remember, but we're going with Thursday. Yeah, you said Thursday. 
Um, does does he know where it's coming from? Like it, maybe a, a port number or dock number or something like that? Uh, he just knows it's coming in on the Tacoma docks, and it is then going to hit a couple of the dock wagon clinics in downtown to resupply them with various things. Does he know which ones? Which, uh... Um... Yeah, he could. Pro- he would probably have that information. Okay. Uh, list the only one that I'm interested in is like the first one. That way, we have like a point A and then point B. Yeah. <clears throat> so you have. Do a, we a, know if the docks are in a particularly high security area? Like yeah, I was looking for the map. Right I was looking for the map again. And I couldn't find it. Security rating. I There's wanna... dogs way at the top. Not if I shape yards, never mind. Can somebody relink that? Uh, I don't have it saved. Thanks. I thought I bookmarked it, but I didn't. Yeah. Doing that now. Oh, I like did. All the water property uh... is super high. Oh, here it is. Comment. Oh, yeah. At the oh, bottom left. There's so many dots on this map I forgot. Yeah, is there a yeah. is there a search on this thing? There's Redmond. Yeah, it's well, down tell. into the there's, left. There's docks with rail yards, that's that's uh, shipping. Yeah. There's Bellevue. If you follow the I five I feel like I'm actually giving you the direction. Well, I guess technically this place does exist, so it's not like I'm right. completely talking out of my ass here. But um, I, I don't see the I-5. It's the big one right in the middle. You know where the river goes straight south and then makes a bend? There's a bay at that, in that bend. That, uh, that yeah, it's all the way down at uh, 22. So I believe it is a the docks are a C rated zone, at least. Looks like. At least according uh, to the wiki. Yeah, on the map it says C. Okay. Um. However, more than that, we're probably going into various dice rolls of some kind. Sure, I'll start making some dice rolls. I love dice rolls. Yeah. Do we like um, oral area knowledge stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I know shit. So we all heard about the docks. Yep, you guys all yeah, know that the the docks is a place, and that they are a uh, a little bit of a neutral ground type situation as far as the uh, organized crime type people go. Um, it is one thing to be doing some smuggling and that kind of stuff. It's another to mess with somebody else's things there that then brings a whole lot of law attention down on everybody. Because there, while there are um, a bunch of smugglers for the different organizations and stuff that do work there, they are also going to have normal people that do actual legitimate business there. And too much, uh, too much attention will draw those normal people to to come down. And somebody has a really big machine gun keyboard. That'd be me. Yep. I guess. Yep. But- let me move my mic. Yep. Uh, security tactics. So they... The... I don't want to call them the willfully ignorant because they, there's probably some higher-ups in the legitimate business that use the... the fact that there is so much organized crime in the area to their advantage and kind of skimp on their personal security because they know that the uh, Yakuza and Mafia and Triads and all of those wonderful people will be operating out of there, so it's kind of like, a, well, if we don't bug them, they're not going to mess with us, but there will be some, if things go you know, horribly wrong, there will be some repercussions from 
KE being on a pretty quick call list. Um, that that is a lot of triad hits. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to know? Um, I want to know which which arm of the triad actually like handles the security for uh, the triad around that area. Um, all right, let me find triad names because I never really named them. This yeah, general. I mean they, they could all be like any to have kind numbers of... in the names. I'm sorry. They like to have numbers in the names. Is what I noticed. Uh. Shadowrun Triad Seattle. Uh, we'll go with the the ones off the top of the list, the 88s. Alright. Um, do I happen to know like who's in charge of them specifically? Uh, as a quick question, you're prison triad contact. Did you decide which triad he worked for? Nope. Alright, he worked for the 88s. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> um, man, who is in charge? I... I don't know if they would have that information as... Uh, you did get five hits, though. Alright, hold on. Just like, it could even just be, like, who's rumored to be... That's true. Ahead of... Um, so we're going to do one of these. I'm not looking for the head of the 88s. I'm looking right. for just like who's in charge of the security for over there. So it is rumored that the, the person in charge that does most of their import-export stuff you've heard is a Juan Ye which I apologize to anybody who is actually of that descent as I butcher <laughs> names. Mm. You have our also heard that his um, secretary, assistant, whatever they would call that in a criminal organization... Um, his right-hand man. ...is a woman that goes by the name of Fang Ying Chu, but due to Asian uh, criminal syndicate rules... She is kind of uh, not exactly well liked because she has that whole glass ceiling kind of thing going on. Just because that's how I don't know if the triads are really like that, but I know the accuse a super are. Apparently, the 88s are in this world. They are now. Yeah, they are now. I know there's at least one person out there who's shaking their fist at me right now. Could be. But that is uh, kind of what you, kind of what you got going on. Cool. So Great. you're just looking at the Yakuza because why? You mean the triads? I'm just trying to get more information to see like where we can maybe leverage some something, and uh, just so we can cover our bases, I guess. Um, with that five hits, would I know if 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 we should mention to the tribe that we're doing this, or if I should not tell them. Right, what is our standing with the 88s? That's a good thing to do, establish. <clears throat> I, I believe last week when we talked about our like world building stuff, is there was going to be some issues between you and the 88 or in the and the triads is the ones we had decided on. Um, as of right now, you don't really have any actual standing with the 88s proper. Um, Acid did meet a guy in prison who worked for them. Whether or not he was welcomed back in graciously or anything along those lines, um, you haven't found out yet. Because I'm in the short time you have been a air quotes free person again, you have not called him. Yes, it's only been one day, and we've been busy. Yes, you, you had a a ticking time bomb of a problem to solve. Indeed. But I don't believe there would be much of a reason why he couldn't come back to the fault. Maybe, maybe not. Well, but still, um, I mean, I we have, have a feeling that if we talk to them about it, 
and they do allow it, it'll mean we cut them in on what's in there. Yeah, they don't. don't if you talk to them at all, they'll want something out of it. Right. So let's not do that. Fuck them anyway. <laughs> you just say that because they're human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and misogynist. Right? What bastards. Vaginas don't weigh women down. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is probably true. Um, so you guys are just driving back to home base as you're kind of chit-chatting and Acid is flying around looking at all the dull gray blobs of technology and pretty colors and spears that go flying by and that kind of stuff. Um, Doing saltos in the air. Something like that. So as you guys pull into turf, sweet turf, um, are you just going back to straight home or are you going to go talk to anybody or... What's your... Uh, I'm gonna try and see what my street doc knows about this dock wagon, maybe? Shipment coming in? Sure, roll them up. Let's see what happens. Uh, this guy's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how much information do you give him to make sense of the the thing like do you tell him the clinics to be resplied do you tell him where it's coming from um i say hey do you know like how often you guys like how often shipments come in uh at the docks like this particular dock um i'm just looking for certain supplies and uh just i'm curious when they'll be resupplied in the the area does he, is he affiliated with Doc Wagon? Uh, no, he's he's just a street doc, so he'd okay. hear about like the yeah. So he'll uh be like, well, could be any number of potential new products that they are trying to to get out if they are in a uh, a marketing blitz for. New version of Cyber Eyes, or a new Ortho Skin upgrade, or something along those lines. If there right. is a particular patient that had ordered something custom made, and for some reason they operated out of one of the clinics instead of one of the larger dock wagon hospitals, it could be that could be included, or it right. could just be a lot of your your standard medical supplies to. Given as you have had a large bunch of cyberware, you know they have like you know their sterilized things and the little baggies that they open every time, and it could yeah. be you know three hundred cases of rubber gloves. Right. No, so, I was just curious if he knew like of a shipment that was coming in around that time. That's all. Not at the not at that hit level. No. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks. What are you guys doing with the pig? Taking, Taking it, it back, back home. to the apartment where we can tie it up somewhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Can, go ahead. can acid, like, crash by with some of you guys? Because she doesn't know where she's going. Spend I mean, <clears throat> I would recommend not coming to my needle-filled abandoned hotel. I mean, the needles do give it a certain ambiance, but... They do. I mean... You could get mystery disease from them as well, <laughs> which is always fun. Yeah, you could totally find some uh, some how to train your pig videos <laughs> online. that are apparently fairly smart as uh, mm -hmm. as they happen to be, and they're also you've also find out that they are significantly cleaner than most people would give them credit for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's there's totally some some pig training that can go on to. Uh, after time, you can actually get it like leash trained, so you can take it out for walkies. <laughs> Quick Sweet. animal huddling. <laughs> you want to go for a walkies? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm basically just looking into like how to take care of them, and then I eventually want to make it so that it's it's not so so big of a deal. So it's more like having a dog than it is having like a, a farm animal. <laughs> a pig. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, no, that's something you could totally do over time. Yep. Uh, and, <laughs> and acid, gladly. you're you're able to coerce the pig out of the cramped back of the, the car into wherever it is you guys are going to go. Yes, nice. I forgot that was actually a skill. I'll have to look into that. It is I'm, a skill. And I'm, hope, all that five. I'm hoping that in the supposed animal book, which I believe is the next book, they're going to have like some things you can actually do with that skill. Oh, that's actually... If it is, I've been like, a really fun character. Essentially, a biological rigor. It, it could be you an interesting what, thing. Months. Until, like... Uh, you will die. <laughs> well, it's like, alright, I'm going into this building. Sir, your dog needs to stay outside. But he's trained. <laughs> Sir, your dog needs to stay outside. He's, he's a guide dog. I'm blind. He's a yeah, service I mean, dog. Right, service dog. You fool, it's a pig. The pigs are fine. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sir. You just get enough hits on your animal handling test that can walk upright with a trench coat and fedora. <laughs> Give it cyber arms and cyber legs. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I can't see anything going horribly wrong. Um, it, and some cerebral boosters. Oh, it really no, makes me want to look something up. I feel like we should get a second pig and we should test this idea. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I'm not going to stop you. Can it pass for Archon in the social situation? Probably. Yeah, I, I would so. agree. You just give it act itself for Con. <laughs> no, no. Yes. Exactly. Most expensive pig alive. As long as it keeps smoking, it's all good. All right, guys. So. I think we're going to need to, like, take a drive over to the docks in Tacoma and, like, check it out. Uh, do a little bit of surveillance, because I think we have pretty much all the information that we can get without going over there. Oh, um, these newfangled computers, uh, can someone do me a matrix search um, to see if there's any jobs going at the docks? Oh, speaking about matrix search, did we want to talk about... So a lifestyle sheet that I grew up. Because one of the benefits of having a lifestyle is a grid subscription, which means we don't roll at minus two for all major actions. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have a low lifestyle right now, I think. Squatter. So, <laughs> hence all the needles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you invested just a little bit of your union into a, a Roomba, it would be so much nicer of a place. I think I was like at 64 by the time um, before rolling the uh, the little starting life dice. Drama. Yeah, so I was like, I would like to live better, but it's not happening. Uh, so on the, are you searching like the the legal jobs, or are you going for a more uh, more shadowy. Like literally, if there's like dock worker jobs, so we potentially have a way to get in. Um, with um, a pass. So let's let's give a quick edge check from somebody, and let's see how lucky you are on whether or not they are hiring a bunch of day laborers. I have five. Go I for it. Only the most. Because you're probably the only person they would hire as a day laborer. <laughs> oh, racist. Uh, sorry, the crates are bigger than you, sir. I don't know. Hey. I can look at the crates. Pretty lucky. Yeah, no, you are pretty lucky. So they would actually have a... Showing up between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m., there will be a daily allotment of folks that... Provided you have a sin and a criminal sin would be okay, that they are, they will allow you to come in and earn a day's wage. So I'm gonna recommend, or say, not recommend, but you know, say basically I've got stealth tags. Um, I have a sin. I can go in, tag the crates we want. Um, that way we can track them. We don't know what crates we want, but I mean, that we'll find, would get us in you there. You know, when we find out. As well. We need to find the crates. But yeah. something tells me that I have never believed a single lie that has come out of your mouth. <laughs> I have never lied to you. You're a very old man. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't be, believe any of it. I would be so, doing racist stuff, but I'm on commie and working out. Somewhere gotta else. get your pump on. We're going home. <laughs> I'm not, and because of that, I need to roll a check. Sure. Okay. I'm not a burner. I'm not lifting any crates. <laughs> So I'm you have a manual labor. Oh man, do you have like the levitate spell or anything? Nope. I have two strength. Well, <laughs> you know, levitate doesn't care about your strength. Although that would probably give you a little bit more. Uh... It's like you have a criminal sin and are wearing mage cuffs and are levitating boxes around. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Something isn't adding up. Either you're like... crazy powerful. You're doing a good job. Just keep the work as the guy like walks away, puts his head down to call his on his comm link. <laughs> we have a problem here, officers. Um, I think that I don't, I don't know if I trust Archon to go undercover. I mean, I don't have to go in alone. Yeah, I can, I like you two can pair. trench coat up and be a person. You know, you and uh Ascend. Ascend. This one. Interchange is just shaking his head at you, like blank stare, just... Hey, I just hit things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I don't think that you should go undercover. So, our other option is to just go over there and check it out, maybe break in at night? I don't know what the security is like at night. Um, did any of our roles earlier tell us, would give us that kind of information? So... With a, I believe you got three hits on the security procedures. Yeah. You're looking at some fences, some cameras, spotlights. Um, there will be each of the, the individual guards, or not guards, um, like dock sections will probably have a uh, a guard. It may not be a guard tower. It may not be manned. But it may be one of those automated arm things that are just like, all right, I'm sorry, Horizon has closed off this dock for today for their own private use. They're not allowing their non-authorized um, right. people in. So that setup will be there as to what will actually be active on the different days will will really depend upon the day and what is being shipped in and out and who has paid who a giant pile of money. Any idea about astral security? Because I could just transform into a cat and like walk over but I wouldn't be like be caught stuck there naked if they have actually barriers or something like that <laughs> so part of that will as a default there will probably be at least watcher spirits and maybe a water spirit or two as like lifeguard spirits um, individual people who are shipping things in and out that are of you know like when you go to mail something they ask if you want insurance I imagine the six was like, would you like a watcher spirit on your giant multi hundred thousand million package to, to keep an eye on it? That makes sense. So some of the some of the pricier things may have paid for additional magical securities on them. I don't actually know how all rights work while your shapeshifter. I don't know either. I assume that you I think it says must be able to tell. It's yeah, too it's, good if you can't. I feel like your astral signature doesn't change just because you change your physical form. No. And in the situation of being uh, having the shape change spell on you, you would show up even brighter on the astral because it's like there's a person that has a spell on them as opposed to there's a person. Right. Also, I don't know how cat-proof their warehouses are. <laughs> I mean, if they just lock the windows, then I can't get in anyway. Yeah. Um, with, with terms to at least security, are most of their locks um, electronic or are they physical? Like ones that could be picked or ones that you would actually need to sort of hack? Chances are most things are going to be uh, electronic, RFID tag, like uh, maglock type things. Where yeah. if you just have like your your badge, you can like boop it over the thing and it'll unlock and you can open it. Um, that being said, those things a lot of people put trust in them. They probably should not when you apply enough force. Yeah. There's also 
specialized gear in the core breaking and entering section. I think I've because got an auto picker. I was yeah, just wondering if that same, would be helpful. Auto pickers are more for uh, your standard physical door yeah, locks. Yeah, I thought they would be. Like sequences, I think. Are they? Okay. Yeah. We could get ourselves a keycard copier. Um, I have one. The one. There you go. Um, find a way to get in and palm a keycard or two off people. Yeah, sequences are like auto pickers for Mac doors. Hmm. You guys did get a, a bunch of karma that you are more than welcome to turn into New Yen at the, the one for 2,000 New Yen, right? If there are things you wish to purchase. Oh yeah. I completely forgot Ooh. about karma. Yeah. Uh, Maglock passkey. That sounds like it could be something useful. Oh, I want a uh, area jammer. That's what I want. Sure, let's it's get some. It's only for card readers, though, the Maglock passkey. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, if someone's got 2,000 New Yen, we can buy one. I think it's just like the... The lower rating one. Uh, that's the um, rating one. The Maglock says it's for card readers, and the sequence says it's for keypads. I don't know why there's different items for that, but there's. So who's who's got uh, the fixer? I do. Can can you roll against 18F for me? I don't think it's going to work. I don't think so either. 18F. What the fuck are you rolling to get? A rating 6 area jammer. Oh, those are pretty hard to get, huh? Yeah. But they're damn nice. <laughs> they are you a nice thing to have. You weren't actually that far off, really. <laughs> 4 out of 18. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not bad. I was at a game last night and I rolled... 16 dice and got two hits. I about table flipped. Oh. Was that the same as my 16 dice, zero hits on stealth last yeah. time? Um, right. I think just, Ethan. I do have invisibility spells. Those are helpful. Yeah, except the, except for the gnomes because they really resist to magic. <laughs> we are really not good things to buff. We're terrible. I mean, I'm already very stealthy, so that could only aid me. Are you? Yeah, I have like 14 stealth in um, urban environments. Uh, you could yeah. try, just looking through your various uh, contexts you guys have, you could try monocle your fence. Um, yeah. I mean, a fence is more for buying things. Right, <laughs> Right, but that's... the an area jammer? That's the kind of thing that he might have in stock. That's like, oh, I'm buying something illegal. Let me just push this button and turn it on so that mm -hmm. nobody can record this. Okay, I, can, I mean, I can roll. Yeah. You can tell me what that means. Um, what did I roll? Uh, you this? would be rolling. You would be rolling ten. Okay, sure. So good news is I think they're pretty cheap. Yeah, it's only twelve hundred. Yeah, so uh, two and a half days because it's double time when I I tied you, and you can you can totally get it. Cool. I will add that to my sheet. Yep. Can anyone else buy one if they have the money for it as well? I don't know how to, that availability check works, or is that just for one? That would be for his fence contact, and you can um. You can get one because you tied them. If you had gotten uh, okay. net hits on it, you could have gotten more. Gotcha. Um. Um, so I put some steps on the map of how I like how I would think about going about this. So basically, figure out what we're stealing because we don't we have no idea. Um, but I assume it's a truck that well. I know that it's a truck, but we don't know what the truck actually looks like, unless he gave us a picture of it. It's a panel van. Right. Okay. Um, and it'll, it will have, like, dock wagon identification on it. Right. Well, I, yeah. Okay, so step one, complete. 
Step two is we got to figure out like where the package is going, which we already know where it's going to end up. We know where it's starting. And we probably want to steal it somewhere in the middle there and probably not from the place where there's set up security, right? Right. So yeah. um, when when it leaves the dock, how many different aven- like avenues of travel does it have? Like immediately leaving it. Is it like a... Uh, does somebody have navigation? I think so, maybe. I do not. Nope, but I, I'll default on it. Uh, I have seven. Asset totally yeah, has navigation, if you want to roll that. Okay, then I'll assist him if you allow it. Sure. And if you want to, uh, if you want to spend a little time out there actually driving around, since um, stuff has happened since one was incarcerated, you can throw two more dice on there if you want to spend the time to drive around out there. Yeah, sure. We have nothing to do. Yeah. Did you take the extra die from me, too? Yes. Yeah. That's two total from all the thing. You should edge that. If if you can do that. Yeah, you can totally can. edge that. I have not yet That's revealed the... No my edge regens. Yep. You have some time. Uh... That thing is off the way. It would be eight dice. There we go. Damn. So the 100% most direct route is going to be to hop onto the... I put the map away. Um, onto the highway and head straight there. You know the places that it will go. If it's going at a... Uh, if it is intending to leave from the uh, the docks at like a rush hour type time, you also know the side roads that it would take. Nice. Uh, and what what are you rolling security tactics upon? Um, I would like to identify the the route that they would be most likely to take. I know that that's the most direct route, but like from a security standpoint, because it's a dock wagon, so it probably has a lot of high value equipment in it. Um, would that actually be the route that they would take, or would I think that it would be a different route? <sighs> So one of the the nice things about taking a direct route is a lot quicker. There's a lot less opportunity for uh, for interactions. It will probably right. be a reinforced van, at least not overtly, but like on the instead of extra um, mechanically extra armor paneled up on the outside, it would probably be on the inside. Your people mm-hmm. who are driving it are going to be a little bit more. Uh, well trained and competent than your standard delivery driver. Right. Sorry to all our UPS drivers out there in the world. Um, they may also have some uh, drone support that they can deploy if, like, a roto drone or two, dependent upon the contents of the thing, in addition to a driver, a secondary person, and um, probably SMGs. Right. Not like full on assault rifles unless this is a a pretty big deal. But if it was a pretty big deal, Johnson Man would probably have given you significantly more information. Right, because he wants it to succeed as much as we do. Right. Or more so. Um All right. Does anyone Come have on. money to spend? I do. I think I can scrounge up 300 new yen. What do you need we don't have for? like a Decker contact, do we? We don't. You, because that would be super useful right now. You don't, but your um, Archon. I'm sorry, I completely forgot his name. Nope, not Archon. Yep. Hold on. Ascendant. Or yeah. Ascend. You have a fixer, and he could totally find you guys a Decker if you. Uh, if you wanted him to. Independent Just to fire. keep track of the van, and at least, and then do other useful things. Sure. But we'd have to pay I mean, him. How, how, do we, how do we plan to like keep track of the van? Otherwise. Just follow it. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's crappy so jackrabbit. If we can find out where it is 
before, like I said, I can ta tag it with stealth tags, so we can just track it that way. Yeah, but how do you plan to find the crate hmm. without it? Um, if know. we if we take a drive past the docks, can we like see into the area and like maybe even see these dock wagon trucks that we're talking about? You could try. It is it is nighttime, so it might be something you want to wait until the morning to go and do. But it well, is something... yeah, I just meant like in general because we we just have like vague amount of time that we're doing this. I have right? low light vision. Yeah, you guys can totally drive by and take a look and see what you can see, but um. Let's Remember, docks are large places, so it is... Right. Difficult. You will see stuff, but we'll see how good of stuff you can see. That's me. <clears throat> I assume you want perception checks? You guys going right ah, now? No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. It's perceived on 8 out of 11. I keep all of those, too. Yep, it's because you have a, a million brains. It's just... <laughs> Man, your mental limit is eight. And I'm using uh, visual enhancement three, so... Yep. So, is everybody piling to the jackrabbit, or is it just the... Because everybody else can roll if they want for various things. Yeah. Yeah, I did not do as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I, I don't expect everybody to throw out eight hits. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't keep five anyway, so I did well for me. <laughs> Stupid humans. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Fucking gnomes, useless. <laughs> oh my god. So you guys are going to drive by straight out of Compton style. Um, mm -hmm. It is still actually a a fairly busy place, even at the, the late hour that you guys are rolling by. Um are you slow rolling, or is it just like normal traffic rolling by? Normal traffic, I would, I would tell, I would suggest that at least. That'd be my vote. It works for me. Sure. Um, so in your normal rolling by, you will notice that there is people still going around and working. There doesn't seem to be, um, what looks like large vans or eighteen wheelers going in and out of the docks. It seems like mostly people are organizing things maybe to be just be so when a truck comes in early early a strike in the morning to pick up a load of stuff and drive it out of there that's like all right here's all your stuff and push it all in and go and push it all into the next truck and go so they're kind of staging things for the next uh the next load um right you don't see because you got a million hits anything that is labeled dock wagon right now okay but do um, i see any trucks that might be what was described? You see a couple of trucks in different uh, corporate affiliations and several unmarked panel vans. Um, just kind of in like a parking lot, as I struggle for words that are incredibly easy and common. Um, right. Um, but did he specifically say that it'll be marked? Yes, he said that it was going to be a dock wagon corporate truck. Okay. All right, then I guess... We should probably just take a drive by every every day at some point. See if we can catch a glimpse of something, and then if not, hopefully on that day we'll see it. I mean, would it be worth me actually just do work like while you guys are doing this, just working for a day to see if I come across it? Just literally a genuine work day of me keeping my eye out while I'm there. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Go ahead. Well, you are broke. Yeah. Yes, that too. And <laughs> Fucking calling. Um, I like money. Money is a wonderful yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, especially when you don't have a lot of it. Like, I couldn't even keep it my squatter lifestyle at this point. Yeah, it's pretty bad when you get kicked out of a <laughs> abandoned hotel. The hobos get together. Get out of here, you <laughs> bum. <laughs> we don't like your kind. <laughs> yeah. You're too scummy well, even really. for the hobos. The livestock cost for squatter is just paying for food, right? So you yeah. yeah, you would just start starving. I mean, I can't imagine that going horribly wrong. <laughs> What's All that? Right. You wanted food? No food for you. So, um, I guess we just have to let us, uh, Archon get his job and um, wait until he comes back, get us our information, unless somebody else has a, an idea. I do not. 
Um, I'll drop the keys off the car with um interchange, so they can use it while I'm gone. <laughs> bring it Thanks, back with a full tank. Of ta <laughs> bring it back with a full tank of gas, because I ain't got money to fill it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll just fast forward until the next morning when Archon goes and does manual labor. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, all right. Uh, you're showing up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And there are a bunch of orcs and trolls, a couple of humans. You notice that there are no dwarves and no elves here. They are kind of milling about. Probably for... Well, how early before 6 o'clock do you get there? Um, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. You will notice that there are people that have been there before you got there, a decent amount of them. There are a couple of people that roll in off of the bus at the same time. And they begin... Yeah just kind of milling about. Some of the people will greet the other people and they kind of like Steve, Bill, and just kind of begin to quietly wait. These people are all like you. Down on their luck, trying to scrape to get by, and are just kind of getting through getting through life, as it were. Yeah. Um, a little while after six, you'll see a couple of very nice cars come in. Um, you'll notice that when one of the the Xiongs, the Hyundais, mm -hmm. pulls in, most of the other people there that are doing the the day for the day labor stuff kind of like look away from it, um, and that one kind of goes off into one of the farther sides of the docks to to set up for the day. Um, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> a a little while later, a a finely dressed elven man will come out, and he has uh, his comm link in his hand, or more like a data pad actually, and he's like, "All right, I got thirty spots for today," and then he'll begin kind of calling out names and various things. Um, can you roll me a edge test real quick? And we'll see where you end up working for. Ooh. Wonderful. So you will end up getting hired for okay. a little bit of uh, a little bit of Nuyen. And it's gonna be you, two trolls and an orc are gonna go actually over to a dock that is unloading a bunch of Ares gear. Um <laughs> Okay. So if you want to give me a quick, let's say, composure, and then lift and carry, and we'll see how well you do as your work day, because you are going to be hassled and harangued by people who don't view you as having a uh, a worth outside of being a, a bio-drone. That was essentially what I expected. Um... Composure, and then <clears throat> lift carry. How do I do a lift carry test? Body plus strength. It's in Chummer. Strength. So it would be nine dice. Yeah, nine dice. That was not fortunate. I mean, <laughs> you did better on your lift carry than you did on your composure. <laughs> yeah, that was that was always going to be expected when it's nine versus four. <laughs> right. Uh, are you feeling up to edging either of those rolls before we get to the uh, the results? Um, I feel like I should edge both, and therefore I will. Okay. Um, <clears throat> especially the composure one. Does that? So you can you can post spend to break the limit, which would give you five exploding dice instead of rerolling your four failures. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. That is mathematically, objectively superior option. Yes, um, five exploding. Yep. Uh, how do you do exploding? It's you just put an ex not exclamation point after the five. Yeah. Five exclamation D6. Um, more than five. After the five in the... Uh, oh. In the, the, the last five. Got ya. There you go. That was good for a composure. And that then, was um, really good for a composure. Yeah, success again, nine dice for lift carry. It would be seven dice or five dice exploding. Yeah, five. Sorry, seven, I'll just do seven. 
That's what I meant. Yep. Sad to success. Better. So five. So five. Right. So, yep, you are... The orc that is there with you is kind of giving you the stink mm -hmm. eye because this, this guy just shows up and now he doesn't know how this works and now all of a sudden he's, you know, outlifted mm -hmm. me, bro. This is bullshit. It's kind of grumbling <laughs> something in, uh... But it's presumably Orzet because it sounds very guttural. And then, mm -hmm. um... If you could finally just give me a just a simple perception test to see what you can see while you're going through your work day. So it's visual? Yes. Okay, so I'll get plus three on that. You can also do a uh, additional three for an observant detail because this is a extended throughout the course of the day thing that you are going around. Uh, okay, yeah, at my um, limit. I went over my limit. So... Going around here, lifting up boxes, doing menial tasks. Um, you're going to get a good layout of the actual docks itself, including where a lot of the boats are going to come in and out of. You don't see any dock wagon stuff um, here at all, mm -hmm. but you notice that this is the only place that Ares seems to be doing business today. Um, yeah. Do you look into the packages that you're carrying, or are you just doing your job and paying attention on the stuff for your other job? Um, he's probably not looking in them so much. He's probably looking at if they're labeled, what's there, um, sort of gauging the weight while he's doing it as well. Um, and if maybe he drops one or two and it, uh, the edge just, you know, a bit of cut comes on the edge and he just happens to lift it up, or, you know, it happens. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, boss. I'm a klutz. Yeah. Also, I should point out the contacts he's wearing have an image link in them, so if the guys are at home, they can see it as well. Image links are if displays, not cameras. Ah. I've only had a camera. No, they are not. Maybe the crates are tagged with what's inside them in error. Mm. Um. They would be not tagged with contains. High velocity <laughs> rounds for assault rifles, models Ares Alpha through Ares Alpha 2. Um, they would be tagged with, you know, property of Ares, shipment number, batch number, and a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. Like, does not contain explosives, does not contain liquids. You're, you're like, th this, if you have the other part of the, the manuscript, not the manuscript, the, the shipping docket, you'll be able to find out what is in it, but it doesn't say specifically guns, ammo, grenades. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, uh, you got a couple of hits on your on your perception test. These feel kind of heavy. Most of them, if they are carrying uh, firearms, being as this is Ares, are not going to be large firearms. would probably be nothing more than uh, pistols or accessories for pistols. Um mm -hmm. It could also be uh, body armor, um, you know, new new uniform, new armored uniforms for Knight Errant or something along those lines. Um, it could be crates and crates of bullets, or it could be any number of the other products that Ares likes to produce. Um, what would you like to know about the docks with your giant pile of hits that you got? Essentially, seeing if there's any. Um if there's anything that says dock wagging around, um, or if there's anything cyberware related, basically anything that we could use in place of what we wanted to get what we want. Sorry, anything in place to get what you... Like, we, want, we came here for a specific thing, right? Um, if there's something that is similar, that, but not exactly the same, that we could oh, take Oh, so you're instead. just looking for other... Um... Yeah, alternatives. Okay, so you're just looking for other medical related things that are going on? Yeah. Uh, so you will see that there is a um, what should I call it? A Evo? Um, has a couple of one of their subsidiaries has a a thing going on over there which they have a lot to do with transhumanist stuff, be it via changeling shifters uh, just Mostly in the, the freakish changeling market. Um, so they could have some medical or cyberware things in their in their shipments. Um, 
Was there anything else you would like to know as to what you could find out in here? Keep in mind, it can also be auditory stuff as you are hearing people talk about things over the course of the day. Or yeah. really, anything else um, along those lines. I suppose you'd be listing out 20 conversations saying that something new has come in, um, something unusual, like they don't usually get a big shipment or... Um, because you said earlier there was a specific van that was being loaded up to go to a specific area, right? Uh, for the dock wagon stuff, the the easy to grab one is going to be the panel van that's hitting uh, a downtown area. Um, you don't. I mean, see... like when I came in for the um, uh, to get chosen for the job, you said there was something else that was happening at the time. He picked up about thirty or so day laborers. Um, out of yeah. the, the group of people, you got shuttled off to the airy stuff. Um, there was a suspicious car that everybody looked away from when it pulled in. Um, but other than that, there was I'd, a couple of nice cars. Yeah, I'd definitely be looking out for information about that car specifically as well. Would you just be trying to overhear it, or would you just... Uh, um, would, would you be I'd asking... Mostly try and overhear, but um, he might strike up a casual conversation like, so I noticed there was that car earlier. It was nice. And see what people say, or what their reactions are to it, like, oh my god, he's talking about it, sort of thing. I kind of want you to roll epic it. I can, I, can, I can default on that. I can definitely do that. <laughs> Good god. <laughs> What's the worst that could that's, happen, right? That's one dice. Yeah, let's, let's see what yeah. happens with a singular die. Is it, no, that's not even that. That's... Is it is it zero or is it one? So I have one I, charisma. It it should be it should be zero. Um, but if you can if you can sell to me in some RP here, I can totally give you some dice for it. I mean, okay, right. If, as you try to um, to get amends with your your fellow manual workers. Right. Well, what have I? I'm actually I'm not terribly unintelligent. So I I noticed when they were there that they this specific car it was can you describe the car to me for one it was a very nice uh hyundai shiyong um japanese asian uh car i believe it's more of a, like a let me just get the description out of the book for you mm -hmm. because that is way easier than watching me watching me fumble with it that was what i was thinking as soon as you said japanese tricks this is a cheap four doors thinking, as soon as he said people are looking away um is a cheap four-door sports sedan and this fast, powerful car for corporate youth to show off their moxie. Um, okay. Heavily customized by tuners and street racers enthousi enthusiasts. Um, these facts have made it popular with the triad and Yakuza elements as well as the more affluent street gangs and slumming rich kids. Okay. In that case... Um... Is he's is attempt? I mean, these people you said are all like down on the luck as well. Not very much. I mean, I assume they look the part. They don't look well fed. They don't look like they've had a good time or a good life. They look like this is how they get how they get by on their day. It's right. Like, I'm gonna um, go. I'm gonna go to work and hope to work today. And yeah, I mean, did, I assume the answer is no. But do they get breaks at all? Like quick five minute ones throughout the day? Uh, so their breaks come in the way of, all right, we've got that boat unloaded. It's now going to pull out of dock, and then if you guys can get all of these to where they need to go before the next one comes in, you got a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, because if we get a chance during one of those, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll talk to everyone, say, um, offer a cigarette to them. Um, he carries matches on him as well, so we can light them. Uh, and they say, you know, how long do you think it could be before we can earn? or we can have one of those cars on this wage and laughing and sort of try and get them to think, you know, we're in the same boat. I just want to get to know you guys. I'm, I'm here trying to sure. earn money the same as you. You can, you can roll me your zero at plus four. Okay. Uh, let's, let's hope he, he does decently. He wow. does decently because you gave him cigarettes. Hmm. So the uh, the orc that was giving you the stink eye earlier kind of warms up to you a little bit. He's like, <laughs> "We'll never get a car like that. That's uh, that's triad money, or I'm sorry, I guess we just go straight to the the name of the triad. It's like that's 88's money. It's nice when you can get onto their lot to do work for them, but you're not gonna 
you know. Why is that? You know, um, how do you get noticed to get on the lot? Well, you got to be doing this a little while, and uh, he kind of looks you up and down. I ain't seen you around before, so that's going to take you uh, out of that running. And it's, I hear it's nice because uh, on certain days they may pay you a little bit extra to keep extra quiet about things you didn't see, if you know what I mean. And he takes a long pull and you're like, on your cigarette. He'll just wink. He'll, okay, uh, so... He'll extend a hand to shake Bradley. Uh, just hands out his name, like, Ark. I forgot he doesn't have a name. <laughs> That's right. Like, he literally doesn't have one, so... He probably has a serial number, right? Yeah, that <laughs> seems like what he would have been given. Tempted to go with Finn, but I feel like that's too oh, it's Star Wars. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. Yeah. Oh, I could talk for too many minutes about that movie. But that being <laughs> said, we've been going for a little over an hour now, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause recording button, and we can right. go grab a drink and uh, do yeah. all that wonderful stuff. <laughs>